When I was a boy, my mom told me to look both ways before I crossed the street. Turns out that mom wasn't only keeping me from getting squashed, she was giving me some great guitar advice. Here's why. Here's a great little guitar habit that you can get yourself into. It often leads into thinking a little bit differently about the instrument. No, it's not a new scale or chord, and it's not a system like caged or three notes per string or triad pairs or intervals or anything like that. It's actually much simpler, and it applies to almost anything you learn on guitar. Here's a basic idea first, and then I'll show you how to apply it to your own guitar playing. As an example, let's suppose you just learned the E7 chord. This particular E7 chord, the A-shaped E7 chord. And what you do is you look at the bottom notes and you look at where your fingers lie. So in this case, I've got my first finger on the root, on the bottom note, and the rest of my fingers lie toward the bridge. Great, that's the first step. Now we just need to look the other way, just like mom told us to do. So instead of using this chord, where we have our first finger on the bottom and the rest of our hands point toward the bridge, we're going to use either the third or the fourth finger and point toward the headstock. For example, we could come up with that chord. That's just an example. In this case, we used our third finger and that points toward the headstock. Now, the idea is not just to learn a new E7 chord. You could look that up. The idea here is to get into a habit of looking both directions on the fretboard. And that's a habit that will repay itself over and over. One way is that when you do this, one direction will often yield a different way of understanding what are the possibilities than the other direction will. Let me give you an example of that. Let's have a look at this lick. The classic bluegrass run. The classic lick is in G, but we're going to play it in A for learning purposes. So here's the original lick transposed to A. And you can see that the starting note, I'm playing with my pinky. So my fingers point toward the headstock as I play this lick. Let's see what can happen when we flip that around and look toward the bridge of the guitar. Here's what could happen when we start with our first finger instead of our pinky. But wait, before we move on, there's lots more that we can learn and we can take from this lick by looking the other way. Check this out. First, because the lick ends on a root note, we could repeat it again in another octave. And so forth. We could make some giant lick out of this. Cool. See what I mean? Different thinking because of the way the lick's structured. Or check this out. Again, because of the way the lick lies on the fretboard, this suggests I could slide with my third finger. It doesn't even sound like bluegrass anymore. I could use this in other music. See what I mean? Make a habit of looking both ways. Mom would be proud. Hey, if you like learning these little insights to make you a better guitar player instead of just copying other people's licks, click on this because I show you lots of other simple insights to make you your own guitar player instead of just living vicariously through others. So check that out and we'll see you on down the road.